Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to get the best class fast in Saber Simulator. So that is the Angel class. And you will probably be able to get it by the next update if you do all of these strategies. But yeah, so make sure to subscribe the notifications on because I make a lot of Saber Simulator videos and I'm trying to hit 70,000 subscribers. So make sure to subscribe right now. And also, if you have Discord, make sure to join the Discord server, links in the description. Also, turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos. And like the video if you want more Saber Simulator content. But yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so right now the most important thing is pets. So since this video is on how to get the best rank, I'll be assuming you guys are a middle rank or a high rank. So, on the best egg, just position it so you can automatically open them, and then, uh, like, right here, have your auto clicker open so it presses R and next at the same time, or E and the next at the same time. But yeah, just keep opening them, and then do something in the background, and then combine it whenever it gets full. So just continue doing that, you'll eventually get decent pets. My suggestion is try to get, well, for this egg, since the best is a moon rarity, Try to get at least three of the shiny five stars and then one shiny rare five star or moon rarity. So try to get a decent amount and then just keep farming until you can get higher ranks. Now it's not that hard to rank up unless if you're a very high rank like right now it's very hard to rank up from king. Everyone that has a higher rank than King has to use macros and stuff. Macros are allowed, I just don't know any good ones. I tried to get one, but also some people are getting their stats reset for them. So I'm kind of worried about that, but yeah. It, again, if anyone has any good ones, let me know in the comments and I'll check them out. Because I want to try to get the best pets, but yeah, so... Just try to keep farming them and then it still farms strength whenever you're clicking to open it so you can farm strength and eggs at the same time so just keep doing that and then you'll eventually have good enough pets that you can keep farming it and right now i only get one u per click now this is going to be hard to do but try to get good enough pets that you can get at least or you per click i'd say that's the minimum if you want to try to get the best rank so four you per click would make it kind of possible to get the rank after king but you would still have to farm a lot for the angel rank because i farmed for about eight hours for 33 and if you do all of the calculations that is about 2,000 O, so 2,000 divided by 33, that's 60 times. So I would need it 60 times 8 hours, which is like 480 hours, which is 20 days. So if you have 4 U, you could get that class within just a few days, and then probably the Angel class within the next week from that. So yeah, it's not that long to farm if you think about it but by that time there are gonna be more classes and stuff it's just really hard to rank up i wish they added some more sabers they should add two groups of sabers each update because one group isn't really that strong but yeah that's the first important thing to getting the highest rank Next important thing, now this is not nearly as important as everything else, but you still do need to farm crowns even if you have way more and you have all of the auras and enough to buy so many eggs, you just still need to farm crowns. Best way is to fight the boss. That's the least complicated way. There are better ways, but that's just the fastest and easiest way. So yeah, just always farm the boss when you're not opening eggs. And even though they might not be useful now, they are adding a lot of new features soon. So maybe by update 20. I predicted pet levels, by the way, because in the video 
the update idea video I made around update 17. I had pet levels in the title of it, and then they added pet levels. But, yeah, I'm kind of good at predicting the updates, but a lot of the times, stuff isn't really added. But I'm glad they added pet levels, though. So for update 20, since, well, I don't know how to explain it in words, but, um... 10 is a good number, and 20 is a good number, because it is the second to 10. So yeah, that, since it's a good number, there should be a good update, if that makes sense to you guys. So, yeah, update 20, hopefully it has a new feature. This update was an event, last update was a new feature. The events are the same every time, just with new icons for stuff, so... Yeah, but update 20, maybe another new feature, that'd be really nice if it was though. And it's gonna be on actual Valentine's Day whenever update 20 happens, so they might add more Valentine's Day stuff. I don't know, but I'll save all of that for another video. But anyways, crowns might be needed for other things in the future, so it's good to farm them now. So that if they add something in an update, then you don't have to farm it then, so you just have enough crowns where you can instantly get everything that update. But yeah, just an idea, I wanted to say real quick, clans, and you can upgrade the max members with crowns, and then you get boosts for high how, you're, how high your ranking is in them. Sorry if I keep mixing up my words, I'm kinda tired right now. Since, um, I streamed Saber Simulator until, like... I started at 1am, so yeah, I streamed it till 3am, so yeah, anyways, here's some more very epic tips. Okay, so next important thing, so since they have pet levels, I have my pets from the island before the most recent one, but they're high and, or wait, um, they're not high, I mean they're high crafting levels, big difference. And then the levels are also pretty good. So even though these would be higher if I leveled them up, that would take a pretty long time to do. So it's just better to keep these. So if you're farming the pets from a previous update and they are better than the new ones, even though they have high levels, don't try to farm the new ones because it's gonna be about as hard. So just wait for the next update. So basically, what I'm saying is if you're the type of person that is pro enough to farm the best eggs every single update, farm eggs every other update because every single update you won't really get that much better stuff. So. Every other update is just way more useful now that there are pet levels and everything. So, yeah, that's a new helpful tip I have, because there weren't pet levels before, but that's an important thing I just wanted to let you guys know. Next tip, go up to the island and pretend to be the egg. So whenever people walk up to you, just say that you're the egg, and then they'll be confused, and yes, that is a very good idea. So, um... Yeah, by the way, that's a joke. Don't actually do that. It will just be confusing for everyone. Okay, so next tip is to completely ignore the event. Unless if you're completely new. Because, well, if you're new, it can actually help you if you can't get the good island's eggs. But considering that to get the good 5-star, it's only 3% chance. And for the other 5-star, it is percent chance so the chances of you getting a shiny are very very low like 0.03 percent chance so it is almost impossible to get a shiny from the valentine's day egg also since it takes a while to get enough hearts for it so you have to farm so much so you can't really get anything good out of those so yeah, even though they have slightly higher stats, it's way more efficient to open the best island's egg. And yeah, that's all of the tips I have to get the best rank. 
So, any video suggestions, saber simulator suggestions, ideas, anything at all you want to say, let me know in the comments. Because I read almost all of the comments, because whenever YouTube notifies me, I read the comments. So, yeah, I see most of the comments, but I reply to, like, maybe a tenth of them. I favorite a lot, too, though. But yeah, that's everything I wanted to say, so here is the outro. Thanks for watching. One last thing though, shout out to all my channel members. If you want to see your name on this board, all you have to do is press the join button to the left of the subscribe button, and then join the channel, and then your name will be on this, this next video, along with a special name tag, and the chat color, and emojis, and a whole bunch of other nice stuff in live streams and video premieres. So if you can and you do, then thanks. Make sure to subscribe, the notifications on, like the video, and join the Discord server linked in the description if you have Discord. But yeah, shout out to all of them. Again, big thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye, YouTube.